What's good YouTube, it's Anthony back at it with another video and in today's video we got some special heat. This is our OG Jordan 1 Retro Low Ghost Green. This is a crazy shoe. We're going over the shoe itself, materials, sizing, resale predictions, everything you need to know about the shoe before you pick it up. Also a road toe giveaway. I'm doing a road toe giveaway at 1,000 subscribers, about 45, 46 subscribers away. Very close. All you got to do is enter in the description there'll be a link to my instagram page a few simple rules that you're in subscribe like follow my instagram at anthony got souls everything's really in the description how to enter i'll be doing a drawing at 1000 subscribers almost there should be there in a week or two my birthday's coming up trying to get there before my birthday big goal of mine anyways guys let's get right into it starting off with the box this is not your standard jordan one low box instead you got your classic red and black Jordan 1 box. This is crazy. And what's really cool is you got this different label than you like really normally have seen with the previous Jordan 1 releases. It's more of like a fatter tag and a little bit of a few things that are different versus like the skinny tag that you see on like just like the Royal Toe box or any other previous or newest release of the ones. Anyways, guys, this is a size 10 retailing at $130, paid $137.80 after my 6% tax and it's air jordan one low og the color on the box is white black ghost green on StockX and go it says ghost green so that's why i'm referring to it as you guys can read that whatever you know nike and the swoosh in that red lid right there tissue paper in that white everything on the on this channel is legit guys so you never have to worry if you're getting like false information or anything anyways guys i don't know if you can really see but i got 11 pairs right here Put my phone down got 11 pairs sizes 10 through 14 i cooked this release locally i'm really happy lots of profit to be made and i got five size 10s if anyone's wintering two 10 and a half 11 a 12 and a 14 i had a 13 i sold it the other day so if you guys are interested in any of those sizes dm me on instagram at anything got souls and we can work out a deal onto the shoe we have not had a og jordan one low in a while really that has released we have had some jordan ones with like the fold around tongue and like this one as you can i don't know what it's called but it's like cropped right there and that foam kind of looks like the off whites a little bit and that yellow and it wears off a little bit but we've had like the core purples i have in one of those boxes you know they have like more of a rounded off like outside around the ankle and this one does not this is more of like a kind of like a flatter shoe too a little bit of a lower shoe there's like the lower mids and then the highs the Roto is a high, so you can see the comparison there. This is a very low top shoe. You see, we like your ankle would be right there. Nice cushion support in that foam interior. Nice yellowish neon insole, which matches the. Um, there's also like this. I don't know. It's like a neon green, ghost green. What you could say there matches the stitching around the shoe. Really nice. Comes through white laces. Standard on the shoe itself when you buy it with the ghost green and the black if you want to spice some stuff up when the shoe first started like coming out on the social media and on my release calendar on sneakers i unfortunately took an l on sneakers but we still managed to pick up 11 pairs which is crazy anyways guys this shoe really stood out to me with the colors that ghost green with the summer approaching really cannot go wrong with your light tones right there and the nice premium leather on the shoe and nubuck that leather in the white you see is that like it's kind of like a tumbled leather i'd say maybe not tumbled but it's really nice i'd say like nine out of ten jordan lows really don't have the best quality but this sense this is an og it has pretty good quality a lot of other og shoes are going for a lot right now we haven't had a shoe like this being the og in a while i don't really know how long it's been but several months and now we got this shoe right here there's some really nice touches on this shoe including the checkered tongue right there got this like nylon foam tongue with the checkered board and that nike and that yellow wraps around in the inside a little bit goes down just a bit on the back right there since we are at it right now is that 3m air jordan wings right there put like a camera flash on it and it just like pops at you a little bit really cool really nice touch to the shoe favorite part of jordan ones is the wings on the back heel tab instead of on the side with the highs right here with the royal toes right there on the side versus the behind you guys tell me in the comments which one do you prefer i really like the back so does this one but you know it's a high versus a low top you gotta do what you gotta do very clean sneaker nice touch right there with the swoosh embroidered and stitching 
with that ghost screen. You got that nice ghost screen swoosh, and around it is that nice neonish green. It's more of like, see like that's the ghost screen, and then around it is just more of like a neon green to match the laces right there. Really nice, makes it kind of like pop out a little bit, you know. And you got more of that white stitching on the midsole and that white rubber midsole, your classic black rubber outer sole. Nice stars at the toe box right there. And your Nike sign in the middle. Nice traction on Jordan 1 Lowe's. Again, guys, that ghost screen right there is a very soft new buck. Very nice, I think. And uh, personally, it's a great shoe right here, guys. Nice white leather, tumble leather. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's tumble leather though. Nice holes on the toe box right there for that breathability and just classic. All the Jordan 1s have that. Very nice shoe right here, guys. Fan of low tops, I have the court purples and I have the highs, I have some mids, you know, but you cannot go wrong with a low top in the nice summer heat, guys. Put some low socks, some high socks in here, white socks, whatever, do what you gotta do and rock it this summertime. This shoe fits true to size, so get your normal size, whether it could be locally on StockX or Go or any other marketplace online. I suggest you guys try to find this pair locally if you're purchasing it before you like resort to StockX or Go because you have to include those fees. Aftermath, I hate doing that, you know, StockX and Go. I rarely buy from them unless it's like a shoe I cannot find locally, but try to find locally. Do not get scammed. Be aware for scammers on like offer up Facebook. There's lots of them always come in and around bumping into them. You do not want to get scammed. It's the worst feeling, but yeah, guys, this shoe is not, I haven't really seen a lot of like people having this shoe for sale on offer up. I'm like the only listing in my area, which was like weird. Anyways, the shoe is pretty limited. I think they released in LA or something like that. And then a shop around me. And I thought it was pretty cool. Very limited shoe right here. Nike sneakers was pretty limited as well. And I'm not really sure a lot of other retailers released this shoe. So this shoe is fairly limited. Fits true to size. So get your normal size. It kind of looks a bit narrow and long. But I think this shoe is just like a high. So it fits true to size. You may want to go a half size bigger or smaller depending on your foot if it's narrower or wider you guys know the deal for that if you don't know your size try on a friend's jordan one it can be really any jordan one high mid or low just get that feel because it's all like kind of like the same build just the height difference if you don't know your size do that and go on to a store if not try on their pair do not miss out and get in the wrong size i personally think the white laces look fly as heck with this shoe guys and if not the white, I would go to like the neon gold screen, then the black. I really wouldn't wear the black because there's really not much black on this shoe to complement except for the black outer soles. But instead, you guys could wear the white to match like the toe box and the white leather, which I will probably end up doing. Or I could even switch out into that, but it's kind of like too bright for me. It really doesn't match the shoe all that well. It does match the stitching, but you really can't see that from afar. Onto one of the most notable parts of the shoe is right here around this cropped tongue and this cropped ankle. It kind of looks like someone took scissors to it and just cut around the shoe and it left that nice, fresh, crisp edge right here. I don't know if this shoe would be comfortable or uncomfortable. I haven't really tried the shoe on. I do like low tops, but I don't know how the ankle would feel, or not ankle, how the edge would feel on your ankle. Not really sure, but there is nice cushion and foam around the ankle and the inside of the shoe and the nice padding. With the low retail of $130, paid $137.80, which is relatively the same as a grade school Jordan 1 Retro High retail. That helps with resale on the second market like StockX and GOAT, which most people know about. And that's why I usually talk about from market wise because you can look at the charts, look at like how many sales is going on. Anyways, most of the shoes and the sizes are ranging from $150 upwards of $200 for your bigger sizes, mostly like 10 through 13 and 14. Your sizes like seven and a half through nine and a half or a little bit lower, right on that 150 to 160 mark. So lots of profit to be made. If I pay about 137.80, which is about $138, make about 30 to $50 each pair. I am avoiding StockX and Goat currently, trying to move these pairs locally. I have 10 pairs left. I had 11, sold one yesterday, and I can make about $400 to $500 on this release alone. That's if I sell locally. I imagine I'm gonna have to dump some pairs on Goat for a little bit less of a profit, but sometimes you gotta do that and move on. This shoe is not a bad hold since we haven't had a recent Jordan 1 Let Retro OG shoe right here, guys. A lot of other OG sneakers have gone up in the past. Neutral grays, royal toes, there's been some bread toes, 
just some really cool sneakers low tops are really clean and the market starts off around that 150 to 200 dollar mark and just slightly goes up and up over time most of these jordan one low retro ogs are right around 250 dollars and upwards of like 500 or 600 but most of those shoes have released several years ago and i'm really not in it for that long of a hold and really the only shoes i'll be holding are like the ones i'll have like leftover like some of the shoes behind me that i may like be sitting on also being how limited this shoe was at least that as far as i know the shoe was pretty fairly limited this shoe will go up over time i think this summer it'll have like a little bit of a spike and set around 175 and up for every size right here right around then i should be able to sell these pairs for about 100 dollars to 180 dollars depending on the size i have a lot of size 10 so if you're size 10 hit me up guys size 10 and a half 11 12 and 14 for your big footers out there you guys gotta let me know in the comments is this a cop or a drop did you get lucky on this drop and anything you guys want me to know about this shoe let me know in the comments thank you all so much for watching this video and that wraps it up make sure you enter that royal toe giveaway subscribe like almost at 1000 subscribers let's get there before june summertime is right here school gets out in about a month just under a month my birthday is coming up so let's get there guys lots of heat guys i've picked up a lot of shoes recently been uploading videos every day to every other day this is, I think, my second day. I missed two days of uploading. Been busy with school and exams. Sorry about that, guys. I'll be back at it. and I'll be posting a short video. It's one of those, like, beta videos for YouTube on the Jordan 4 Seersucker golf shoes. That shoe is insane. I'll be doing a short video on that later this afternoon in a full video either tomorrow, which is a Monday, or Tuesday, sometime later this week, guys. We've got lots of heat on this channel. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. Peace.